I'm sure you will agree with me when I say this. Keeping something a secret has never been as difficult as it is now. Same is the case now with the Snapdragon 855, which is destined to become the next best Snapdragon chip. We are still months away from the silicon's official unveiling, but its existence has already been confirmed by multiple sources. Why is the Snapdragon 855 worth being excited about? Because that is the chip that will power many of the next year's flagship Android phones, including the highly anticipated Galaxy S10. So here is everything you need to know about the Snapdragon 855. Excited? So let's get started. Qualcomm has yet to publicly announce the Snapdragon 855, but its engineers are working on it already. We are sure of this as we found multiple references to this new chip on the LinkedIn pages of several Qualcomm engineers. The Snapdragon 855 is internally known as SDM855. A report from WinFuture claims that Qualcomm will launch the Snapdragon 855 with a neural processing unit. Apple's got one and Huawei introduced one with Kirin 970. Now Qualcomm's also expected to brand a couple of cores on the upcoming smartphones as an NPU in order to take some of the performance burdens away from processor, GPU and DSP. Qualcomm's already got a tightly integrated pack on the Snapdragon 845 and has been launching the Snapdragon lineup with DSPs for quite a while. This makes a lot of sense since Apple's neural engine for A11 is based on licensed DSP cores, a fact that further suggests Qualcomm's presence in the field before Cupertino marketed the cores as capable of performing complex tasks and calculations. The Snapdragon 845 was announced in December of 2017 at the Snapdragon Summit event held in Hawaii. So it's possible to see the Snapdragon 855 become official before 2018's end. In fact, it is rumored that the chip is already in mass production. The Snapdragon 855 codename HANA is being developed internally under the name SDM855, but its name has changed since several months according to third-party documents seen by WinFuture. It is also claimed that the Mimix 3 will be powered by Snapdragon 855 SoC. That said, if the page is to be believed, Mi Mix 3 would be the first phone to launch with next-generation silicon from Qualcomm. Two months ago, Xiaomi Executive confirmed Mi Mix 3 will support 5G internet connectivity, which coincides with a Snapdragon 855 that will technically offer 5G when paired with a 5G modem. One of the biggest upgrades in the Snapdragon 855 over the 845 is expected to be the shift to new, more efficient manufacturing process. While current Snapdragon 845 is fabricated to a 10 nanometer process, the next best Snapdragon chip will mark the move to a 7 nanometer node for Qualcomm's high end SoCs. This will bring the grain naturally expected with each new generation of Snapdragon chips, such as increased performance and better power efficiency. Qualcomm recently made the X24 modem official, a 7 nanometer LTE chipset capable of 2 Gbps data speeds. The X24 may also come integrated into the Snapdragon 855, which would itself be a 7 nanometer chip as well if that's the case. According to WinFuture, the Snapdragon 855 will feature an octa-core design of 4 low-power and 4 heavyweight cores. The low-power cores are apparently clocked at 1.7 GHz, while the heavyweight cores top out at 2.6 GHz. By comparison, the Snapdragon 845's low power core hits 1.77 GHz while the top end cores run at 2.8 GHz. This doesn't necessarily mean the new chip will see lower clock speeds as these figures reportedly come from a test platform. Additionally, architectural improvements could mean the cores doesn't need higher clock speeds either. Now that we have touched on the topic of connectivity, it should be noted that Snapdragon 855 isn't likely to have 5G connectivity built into it. The aforementioned X24 modem may be fast, but it's not quite 5G capable. Despite that, the Snapdragon 855 may appear in 5G devices, a possible scenario outlined by a recent report published by Japanese corporation SoftBank. In the report, SoftBank makes a mention of Snapdragon 855 combined with Qualcomm X50 5G modem in a so-called fusion platform. In such a configuration, the X50 would provide access to the 5G network of the future along with all the necessary antennas. And once you step outside of your carrier's 5G coverage, the 855's built-in 4G connectivity will kick in. While nothing is official at this time, it is safe to say that the Samsung Galaxy S10 will be powered by the Snapdragon 855, at least in the US. Qualcomm and Samsung have a long history of working together, and the first Snapdragon 855 phone being the Samsung Galaxy S10 is a highly likely scenario. 
Of course, other companies will probably want to get in on the Snapdragon 855 action as well. LG, Sony, Motorola, Nokia and OnePlus are all brands known for using Qualcomm Snapdragon chip in their top tier smartphones. So seeing Snapdragon 855 flagship devices from them as well would only be a matter of time. So guys, what do you think about the Snapdragon 855? Do you think it can compete with Apple's 812 Bionic chip? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and for more future videos like this do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.